let's talk about my YouTube channel. So this is gonna be a quick video. I'm gonna talk about this one time. I'm talking about this one time only. I'm never gonna have the conversation again. Somebody thought it was a good idea. Don't know who you are. Somebody thought it was a good idea to make a complaint about me and my YouTube channel, as well as my other social media, saying that um, if the children I was fostering were their children, they would be upset about uh, my channel, I guess, um, uh, and about blocking their faces and things like that. So here's the thing. I find it very interesting that someone like myself who is taking children into their home that they've never met. I've taken in baby S, baby L, baby T, baby J, baby R. Five kids, five children in one year I've had in this home. This one right here. That means there's been four, five, four times, because I still have baby R, there's been four times that I've had to give children up and go through all the emotions. Some emotions that y'all haven't even seen on this channel. There's been, in the span of one month, six, six phone calls for children that I've gotten, that I was told would be at my home that night and never showed up. Not only did they not show up, I never even got a text message saying they weren't gonna come but I still kept pressing through. It has been just over a year that I've been doing this and I'm to the point where I have learned so much, so much about DCFS, so much about the children that I have in my home and how they are all different. And most importantly, so much about myself and what I think and see about foster care in LA County. I have changed. I've changed about reunification and what I think about it and who I think should reunify and what children should reunify and how much I support reunification. That has changed in me for the better. I get direct messages on Instagram. I get comments on these videos. I have people calling my agency, Aviva Family and Children Services, calling the agency saying that they are gay and black and single just like myself, and they talk about how they see this guy on YouTube talking about foster care, and they want to be foster parents because of it. There are people who send me messages telling me they are starting foster care because of my story, and I have shown them that they can do it as a single person. There are people who comment and tell me that they are, they are fostering now, that them and their, their partners or their husbands or wives or whatever, have decided to go the foster route and their sto my story has helped them understand this process more. I don't talk about these kids. You don't know their names. You don't know why they were detained. Sorry about all that outside. You don't know anything about their stories. All you know is what it's like for me to be a father. I'm not even editing this video. All you know what it's like for me to figure out diaper rash and for me to set up a high chair and for me to uh, go to the doctors with a child. You don't know nothing about these children's cases. But somebody thought it was a good idea to report me to the county. Give me a second because I got to be a foster parent. One second. So with that being said, you most likely will not see these children's faces on camera. You never did, but even blurred out, I'm saying you might not see. Um, just because I don't, I don't wanna mess anything up. I've spoken to the department and Baby R's social worker, and I got a recommendation on what I should do. Um, it's looking like I might do that. I will say this to whomever decided to do this. I'm not doing anything wrong. They know about this. My agency knows about my channel, about my Instagram. 
Foster parents are required to, if you put a child on, on camera, you're not allowed to talk about their case. I don't talk about their case. You're required on photos to block out their face, okay? Go to my Instagram. I block out the face. I block out the eyes, just like everyone does. If they're on camera, I blur out their face. There's no way you can tell who these children are. So before you do things, why don't you reach out to me? And why don't you ask and find out what the goodness that has come out of this channel? This is a channel about me on my way to becoming a parent. I have never lied. I've never, ever, ever said that part of this for me is not so that I can adopt. I've said it many times. Part of me doing this is to adopt a child eventually. I don't know what child it will be. I don't know what child it won't be. All I know is when a child comes into my home, they have a home with me for their life if they need it. I've been working very hard on this channel. Very hard to create content, edit content, put informational content out there. Um, I wish someone would have come to me first. So I've spoken with baby R's biological parents, both of them, and um, we're good. That's what I'll say, we're good. They know about my Instagram and my YouTube. They know that their child is protected with me. They know that I would step in front of a bullet for their child. They know I would never put their child's story out there. He's safe in my home and he will always be safe in my home for as long as he needs a safe home. That's all I gotta say. Thank you for the people that support this channel. Thank you for the people that see the good in this channel. Thank you for the people who have been inspired to foster children because of this channel. You're not gonna stop me because you want to be someone who doesn't wanna have conversation. If you want to have a conversation, talk to me. My email is kevinadopts at gmail.com. Email me. In the meantime, I'm still going to document what it's like for me to be a parent because that's what this channel is about. My journey to, foster, to fatherhood, not what these kids' journeys are about, not to show their faces. You don't see their faces. You don't know their names. You don't know about their stories. You don't know their parents' information. You know nothing about these kids. All you know about is what it's like for me to say hello to a child, goodbye to a child, how to do diaper rash, how to set up things, how to work out when you're a parent. If you have an issue with that, unsubscribe. I love you all. Peace out.